the European Union has recently issued warnings to several major tech firms including TikTok, X which was formerly known as Twitter, and Meta who owns Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp over the spread of disinformation related to Hamas videos. X, under the leadership of CEO Linda Yakarina, has reported to the EU that it has removed or flagged tens of thousands of pieces of content since Hamas attacked Israel. That being said, a video was floating around on X for hours which appeared to be a video from the BBC with the logo and using a similar animated text claiming that the weapons provided by the West to Ukraine has ended up in the hands of Hamas. It is unclear who made this video, where the root of the video comes from, as a few people claims that the Russian government disinformation campaign might have something to do with this. Regardless, one thing is clear, that this video has nothing to do with BBC whatsoever. The EU had given X a 24 hours deadline to explain how it was complying with the European law. Meta was also handed a similar warning about disinformation and a 24 hour deadline by the EU. It is uncertain if either of these social media giants have sent their response to the EU as the European Union has declined to comment on it. However, a European Commission spokesperson said contacts are ongoing with the company's compliance team. As for TikTok, the EU has urged its CEO, quote, to urgently step up efforts and spell out within the next 24 hours how it is complying with the European law. These warnings come in light of new laws introduced by the EU recently in August 2023, known as the Digital Service Act. This act requires very large online platforms to proactively remove illegal content and shows they have taken measures to do if required. Something Meta has already been working on as they were aware this law will be soon knocking on their doors. This law isn't something anyone can take lightly because if the EU thinks that the platform has not fulfilled or failed to address the problem it has identified and risks harm users, the punishment could be severe. We are talking about a heavy fine, which I assume would be in high millions or even in billions. And it could be as bad as the EU requesting the judges to ban the platform from the EU temporarily.